Hi, I'm Barb. I'm the author of the Diaries of Liberty the Pug. Today I'm going to be reading from the Diaries of Liberty the Pug, book seven, Poppy Girls. On the front you will see Liberty, Ebony, Rose and Pippa. We went for a walk this morning and they're very tired this afternoon. I'm not sure if they'll be on this little movie today, but they are with me. There's Pippa right here, Ebony Rose back in the corner, and Liberty is in one of her many beds. They're all snoring. You might hear them snoring. Liberty is my co-author, so everything we write is through her. She may be blind and she cannot see, so I'm reading them for her. My name is Liberty. My friends call me Libby. I am a very cuddly fawn pug with an almost black face and a touch of silver and a curly tail. My life began in a very bad place called a puppy mill. Please do not feel sorry for me and sad. Today I have a mom, a daddy, two pug sisters, Ebony Rose and Pippa, who we call Wiggly, <laughs> Nora and Noddy the tortoise, and budgery guards, bubble and squeak, who are little birds that chatter all day. We're all very different, but a one big happy family. I'm blind, so my mom helps me write in my diary each day. Please join me as I share the wonderful world of being a pug with a family to love and who loves me. My stories are fun to read and sometimes full of mischief but oh so lovable, bringing joy and laughter to all of my friends. <laughs> Today we're reading Back Home. I am curled up with my comfy blanket, sitting in my big wooden chair on the redwood deck, drifting off to sleep. My face feels pleasantly warm in the sun, and I hear the deck chimes blowing gently in the wind. The garden birds are singing, and I feel loved and very cozy. Three days ago, Mum called my Uncle Braden very early in the morning to drive us to the pet emergency hospital. Uncle Braden lives close to our house and came right away. And he could see I was having trouble breathing, and I was very sick. When we arrived at the hospital, Uncle Braden carried me gently out of his truck and into the waiting arms of a nurse. I was very scared and wanted to stay with my Uncle Braden and my mom. I did not like being in the hospital and away from my family. And I missed them every day, especially my sisters, Ebony, Rose, and Pippa. While I was in hospital, I did not recognize anyone's voice. I am blind, and I could not see who was taking me and talking to me. The doctors and nurses were very kind, but I miss my own little bed in my own little house. Would you like to see Uncle Braden? Uncle Braden is Liberty's very favorite uncle. It's a good job he lives close by. Today, I feel the whole world is happy in welcoming me home. Mum is sitting by my side, telling me about my friends that have sent prayers to make me well. Mum's hands feel very soft, smoothing the top of my head. Mum is so happy I'm home and feeling better and is chatting away, telling me about her great idea for us to write a nursery rhyme together for my friends. I'm thinking, hmm, brilliant, mm, but what's a nursery rhyme? Mom said we can help my sisters, Ebony Rose and Pippa, to write nursery rhymes too. Wow, learning to make words rhyme is exciting. My friends will learn my nursery rhyme, keeping me in their heart forever. I have fun the rest of the day, writing a nursery rhyme about me. And that's what Mom and Liberty did. And it's called Liberated. I'm going to read it to you. 
from puppy mill to pet store in my little glass box, feeling sad and alone. I wonder day after day, do I call this place home? Faces look in my window and keep walking by. Where do they come from? I wonder why. Do they see me crying in my little glass box? Look at me, see me. I want to shout. Please stop by and say hi and please take me out. Six months I wait, watching puppies come and go. Somebody please, won't you take me home? Today is my day to go home. A daddy and mummy just for me. I now have my own family. I'm happy as can be. A home, a garden, food and love. Little Fawn Pug, my name is Liberty. Do you have someone special that can help you when you are sick? Think about who you would call if you need help. Keep their phone number handy. I feel so lucky to have my Uncle Brainy. So remember, if you don't feel good, you tell somebody so they can take care of you. Just like we took care of Liberty with Uncle Brady. Take care. I'll see you next week. Perhaps you can make a nursery rhyme up about your life and your pets. Bye-bye for now.